Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you through a quick demo of an external tool in Power BI Desktop called the ALM Toolkit. Now the ALM Toolkit has a, has a few main benefits. Uh, number one, you can do relational database compare type comparisons for Power BI data sets. Uh, you can do code merging and you can deploy bug fixes and partial releases. Now that is the main benefit that I've used it for. Uh, when I'm making changes and I want to just deploy those changes and not refresh the entire data set, this is kind of what I use. So let's back up and kind of explain the use case. If you have a data set that's using an import model and you're publishing that to Power BI service in a premium workspace, and then using that data set, you're using as a shared data set for multiple reports, which are connecting to that data set via a live connection. And you have to make a change to your a few measures or something like that, maybe a relationship. And you don't want to refresh the entire data set to basically implement this. The ALM toolkit is a perfect example of how you can uh, accomplish this. So for my demonstration today, I've got a file called ALM data and it is one table with one column and five rows. It's got one measure called count, and it's just the count of that column. Now let's say I want to make a measure change. I want to change this from count to sum. So let's go ahead and do that. Change this to sum. Okay. So now that's changed in my data set itself, but not in the uh, not in the Power BI data set. It's changed in this file, but not in the, data, the Power BI data set itself. So let's uh, actually implement that change. So if we go to external tools here in the top, if ALM toolkit is installed, you'll see that appear here. Go ahead and click on that. Now the first screen that this comes to is a uh, connection screen. So your first part is source. You're always going to click on your file where you're making this change. So in this case, it's Power BI desktop, ALM data. In your target section, you're really targeting your data set that, ex that exists in Power BI service. So this first part up through the slash, the part I have highlighted right now is pretty standard. You're gonna have to copy that exactly. And then after the slash, you essentially list your workspace that your data set exists in. After you've done that, under data set, if you hit the drop down, you'll see the list of all data sets that exist in that workspace. First, it's gonna make you log in. So go ahead and log in. Okay. Now I can see a list of all the data sets that exist in that workspace. So my data set is called ALM data. So I'm going to head and click on that and hit OK. Okay. So the first thing it's going to do is this essentially hit the compare button. So it's comparing my source information with my target information. So you can see the table, measures, you would see relationships here if I had any, uh, those kinds of things. And then this far right column is the action it wants to accomplish on that. Now anything that's the same, it's just gonna say skip, but anything that's different, you're gonna see it's going to delete. So it's deleting this count measure and creating this sum measure. Those, that's the measure that I updated. Um, you can always hit the drop down and change these if you wanna skip uh, certain, you know, certain objects, but that's essentially what it's doing. So let's hit select actions and we're gonna hit hide skip objects because we don't wanna see the objects that are you know, not changing between, between files. And it's just coming up with these two different updates that we're doing. So we'll hit validate the selection and yet we wanna delete one measure and create one measure, that's correct. Finally, we'll hit update. Are you sure you want, are you, sure you want to update the target? And this is gonna update the data set itself. Hit yes. And success, Meta, metadata deployed along with the rows themselves. So it looks like we're good. We'll hit close and we don't wanna refresh the comparison. So now let's go to our final file itself. The file that, as you can see on the bottom, has this live connection to that Power BI service data set. We can see that it's got a count and the count is five. Let's hit refresh. And it's just gonna do a quick refresh and you can see this has changed to sum. So let's get rid of that and pull in sum. And now our sum is 15. So we've essentially changed one measure without refreshing any of the, any of the actual import data set itself.
So it's a great uh, great use case for being able to make these partial releases and bug and bug deployments. And uh, it's a great service. I hope everyone is able to use it in the future.